Niagara University, recognizing the value of diverse cultural and academic experiences, offers students the opportunity to participate in the study abroad program for a semester, summer, or winter session. Students develop leadership skills, increase international understanding, and enhance their own self-awareness. Study abroad students take classes while they are traveling, but they also gain a greater perspective on the world and grow to be more confident and assertive through their experience in the program. Well, before I went on the trip, I was lacking, I guess you can say, a little bit in self-confidence. But once I went over abroad, um, my self-confidence grew. I was comfortable being myself in different countries and different cultures and different contexts. And I can now I'm far more comfortable in my own you know, setting, which is America and Niagara University. Um, just having to travel on your own, I think you have to go out of your comfort zone to if you have to ask questions about where you're going and you have to be confident that, okay, I made the right decision, this is where I need to go. And I went to uh, China and Japan as a freshman and I also went to Australia as a junior. And they were, they were life-changing in the sense that I came back just a different more prepared for what was to come and more appreciative of the experience that I had. Career preparation for the 21st century includes an emphasis on an ever-increasing multicultural workplace. Students who study abroad gain a unique perspective on the global marketplace of today and tomorrow. I got to, you know, talk about politics with people other than just Americans. So it just, it makes me a better candidate because I was able to reassess what I need and um, what makes a good teacher, what doesn't make a good teacher. Yeah, I expected London to definitely be like something here, like New York City, um, but it wasn't with the food and the culture and the way people talk, even the way that they work. Um, they say in the United States that we kind of, we live to work and over there they work to live. Their whole mindset is not set on work. When I was in Australia, I lived in a community of international students. So I was not only just with American students or just with Australians, I got a really good global picture and it kind of allowed me to see what the rest of the world kind of viewed America as. Studying internationally gives students the opportunity to learn in American universities throughout the world. It also provides students with learning experiences that go beyond the classroom. Through, the, through my readings, like, I've gotten to like know basically like a country's culture, but it's a different experience when you read compared to actually being immersed in it. So it definitely helped me to like gain a better appreciation for other cultures. I mean, we went on trips, we went to the Coliseum, we seen the Trevi Fountain, the Pantheon, we seen a lot of things. We went, we seen the Pope, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, at uh, Vatican City. You see these things that you see in your history books, and it's just amazing. You learn something when you read it, but you don't really know it until you've experienced it, and that's something that this program definitely enriches your education here. But the first time, like, the Coliseum just kind of, like, immerses you, and you're just looking up at it, and you're like, that, that's the Coliseum, like that's no joke. It just, it literally makes history become alive. As a university that emphasizes active and integrated learning, Niagara University students will work on projects and complete internships as part of the study abroad program. The internship in London I had was at a company called Baden Hill. Um, they're a financial company, they trade um, currency instead of stocks like we would here. And so if someone comes in with British pounds and they want to switch them to the euro, say they're buying a house in France, they can do big transactions like that through this company instead of through the bank and they get a better rate. When I lived in Lima, um, I was an intern at a travel agency where I got to work with different volunteers that were in Peru. and. Um, Another girl and I worked together to compile a volunteer program with people in Peru to people in America and then vice versa, so that was really cool. It was a very good experience because I am an education major and in Paris, France, they gave us the ability to go into a French school and actually work within a French school with children trying to learn English as a second language. We had an amazing opportunity, again, through our advisor arranged for us to perform while we were there. And we got to perform scenes from Shakespeare's Henry VIII at the Tower of London in historical costume, like a historical reenactment, which is something that I couldn't trade for my entire life. I wouldn't trade my experience going to London just for that. Niagara University is nationally recognized as a leader in service learning. Through its Catholic and Vincentian traditions, NU seeks to inspire its students to serve all members of society and students who study abroad are able to perform community service in all corners of the world. But in Paris it's so exposed, like you may see a kid and the mother living in the telephone booth and you have to like give them dinner. It makes you feel good about yourself, but at the same time it makes you wonder like, what, why aren't 
Why, where's the help at? Like, why aren't people doing anything to help these people? My experience abroad actually has influenced me to help out the community here. I'm actually helping out at Heart and Soul Food Pantry right now, volunteering there in the morning on Wednesdays and Fridays. So when we were in Lima, we actually volunteered at these, um, there were day schools for the children of Peru, and they were like five years old, and they were just so happy to see people that like weren't their kind, I guess you could say, and just like playing volleyball with them or like playing with them at recess like made their day so much better and we continuously like went back to like see them and just like the light in their eyes was amazing. And it was kind of really cool that we were helping out the needy and the homeless in the capital of the Roman Catholic Church. So it was just really moving to do what some people would say God's work in God's city. While studying abroad, students will face a series of unique challenges and opportunities, each of which are invaluable to the growth of every student. I went to Paris and I don't speak a word of French at all. I only know like the basics, you know, the numbers and that's basically it. <laughs> so it was very hard to communicate with other Parisians. Um, and I'm awful with languages, I can't roll my R's. So I knew that Italian was going to be, it was going to be a mess. But I still like tried as hard as I could and I knew, I learned like the very basic formalities of it. I knew what I had to do, a lot of it was just doing it. So I had to talk to strangers, I had to ask for directions. I had to ask what was the best food was, where did the, do the locals hang out. While you're experiencing those journeys and just going through everything, you're looking and searching for so much. But at the same time, what you don't realize is that you're searching and you're finding yourself. To really push yourself to go into an environment that you don't really quite understand but want and crave to learn about and to really just let yourself go, let yourself get lost and learn things and find your way home again at the end is a life-changing experience. Explore more, grow more, achieve more. Niagara University's Study Abroad program prepares its students to grow to become leaders in their professions in the worldwide marketplace and active in the service to the global community. Niagara University, education that makes a difference.